Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S star node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And before I start on this node, which is going to be super short, there seems to be confusion still in the uh, little chat groups about the difference between, say, our like regular polygon and our shape polygon nodes and what they're used for. So I'm just going to kind of cover that real quick. So these are all dependent. So let me go ahead and bring in a S polygon. Which one you're going to use is dependent on what your task is. So this node, the S polygon node, is used for creating actual shapes, physical shapes you can see in Colorize. Your regular polygon node, traditionally, is used for creating masks or rotoscoping or cutting things out. So if I was to bring in, say, a media, and we input that to our media out, and I wanted to cut her face out, I would use a regular polygon node, or whatever you want to use, whether it's a rectangle, an ellipse, or a uh, B-spline. It's all the same. So whatever one you want to use to create a mask on our media. So I can go to our media and go to our polygon and create a mask. So now I've got a mask on our media. Now, if my intent was to create a shape on this media, so I didn't want that there. I just wanted this weird polygon shape here. In order to do that, I would have to uh, bring in a merge. We could merge our media. And we could technically bring this polygon straight into our foreground if we want, but it's going to be white. So we do have a shape there, but that's all it is. We can't come in here. We can't change the color. We can't do anything. In order to change the color, we would have to, uh, say, use a background instead. Bring this in, input it into our background, and then go to our background and change the color of our... Uh, background. So that's how we would have to use this to change the color and use it as a physical shape within our, our media. Or I could get rid of this. We could take our polygon and we can get a S render. Bring in my polygon, input our render into our foreground, and then our polygon shape, I could create whatever shape I needed to create. And in here, I can go and change the color to whatever I want. So that is the difference. It's the intent of what you're trying to do. So they do practically the same thing, but your regular polygon is not going to uh, allow you to change the color directly. And it's mainly used for creating masks and animating masks and doing rotoscoping and doing different stuff. Whereas your S polygon node is used for... Uh, creating physical shapes you want to see in your content. And same goes with your S rectangle, your S ellipse, all that stuff. Because there's more, more nodes I'm going to get to and, and all these S shapes will start making sense because we can create bigger and better things with all these S shapes in this S render. We just haven't got there yet, but believe me, it's coming. Now, as I said, this is mainly used for a mask and our S shapes, I cannot use as a mask. So if you notice, I can't mask that off. I can, however, go from my render into my media and use that as a mask. So your S polygon or your shape nodes can also be used as masks, but they have to come after the render node. You have to render it out prior to it being able to be used as a mask. So. I hope that clears up. It's your intent. If you want something physical, a physical shape that you can see, you want to use your shape nodes because you can control the color. If you want to just mask stuff off, you want to use your regular polygon or regular nodes like your rectangle ellipse and B spline. So, Hopefully, hopefully that clarifies everything. And uh, let's move on to our node breakdown. So we've already got our little render here. 
and let's bring in an S star. S star. There we go. And if I input this into our render, we've got a star. And within our controls, we can control how many points the star has from two to however many. You can go up if you want. So I can type in 40 points and have 40 points. Also, you can change the depth, which means the depth of your inner points, how far in or out they are. So if I bring it in, it's a sharper star. If I bring it out, it's a fatter star. I can also select whether this is solid or has a border. And again, I can change that border length and change the border position as well as changing our border styles, whether we want it flat, rounded, flat centered, and we can change our mitering. And this is a good example of your mitering. If you remember right, it'll change your mitering of the sharp points at the end. Whether you want them flat or actually pointy. And then we can offset on the X, the Y, we could add Z depth information. We can change the width, the height, and the angle. And of course, we can change our colors. And again, we can change that alpha value on that star. We can change the opacity of the star. And we can allow combining if we have multiple shapes on top to maintain our alpha values of our shapes if we need to. So that is the S star node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.